Earth is about to have a new visitor in its cosmic neighborhood, but this isn't a typical flyby. Imagine a small rock, roughly the size of a house, hitching a ride around Earth for a couple of months before waving goodbye and continuing its journey around the sun. This is the story of 2024 PT5, a small asteroid set to become a temporary mini-moon of Earth for about 53 days, starting from the end of September 2024. In this video, we will explore what makes this mini-moon so special, delve into the science behind its temporary capture by Earth, examine the implications of such events for planetary defense, and look at what we can learn from studying these fleeting cosmic visitors. Discovered in August 2024 by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, 2024 PT5 is a small asteroid about 10 meters in diameter that was identified as a potential mini-moon for Earth. ATLAS is a state-of-the-art automated system designed to detect asteroids that might threaten our planet. Its rapid detection allows astronomers to quickly calculate an asteroid's path and assess its potential risks. In the case of 2024 PT5, the analysis revealed both surprising and reassuring news that this small asteroid is not on a collision course with Earth. Instead, it will briefly be captured by Earth's gravity, becoming a temporary mini-moon. What makes it particularly interesting is its size and trajectory. At just 10 meters across, it is relatively tiny compared to the larger asteroids that often make headlines. However, it is precisely this small size that makes it more susceptible to being captured by Earth's gravity temporarily. Unlike the larger asteroids that pass by Earth at high speeds and continue their orbits around the Sun, smaller objects like this one can be caught in a gravitational tug-of-war. This tug-of-war results in a temporary capture, creating what is often referred to as a mini-moon. This asteroid likely hails from the Arjuna asteroid group, which consists of small asteroids with orbits around the Sun that are very similar to Earth's. These asteroids, due to their proximity and orbital patterns, are more likely to be caught in Earth's gravitational pull. Scientists have determined that 2024 PT5 is a natural object rather than space debris, which is significant because it means its trajectory is not influenced by the forces that affect artificial objects in space, such as solar radiation pressure or atmospheric drag. This natural orbit makes it a perfect candidate for a temporary mini-moon. Understanding the nature of 2024 PT5 is crucial for several reasons. First, it offers a rare opportunity to closely study a near-Earth object, even if only for a short period. Second, events like this serve as valuable test cases for improving our asteroid detection and tracking systems. When we talk about Earth capturing an asteroid, we are really talking about a delicate balance of forces. Specifically, the gravitational pulls of the Earth and the Moon, combined with the velocity of the asteroid itself. For this mini-moon, the conditions are just right for it to be captured by Earth's gravity for a short period, making one complete orbit around the planet over 53 days. When an asteroid like this one approaches Earth, it enters a region of space where our planet's gravitational pull starts to dominate over the suns. If the asteroid's speed and trajectory align perfectly, it can enter a temporary orbit around Earth. However, unlike our permanent moon, which is locked in a stable orbit, these mini-moons are often in highly elliptical orbits, and their stay is fleeting. For 2024 PT5, the current predictions suggest that it will be captured by Earth's gravity at the end of September 2024, make a single loop around our planet, and then slingshot back into its orbit around the Sun by mid-November. The phenomenon of mini-moons, while relatively rare, has been observed a few times, each instance providing unique insights into the nature of small near-Earth objects and their interactions with our planet's gravity. One of the most well-documented cases was 2006 RH120, 
a small asteroid that orbited Earth from 2006 to 2007. This mini-moon was about 3 to 6 meters in diameter, and stayed within Earth's gravitational sphere of influence for about a year. It was a significant event because it was one of the first times astronomers could track such a small object's orbit in real time, giving them an unprecedented view of the dynamics at play. Another notable example is 2020 CD3, which was discovered in 2018 and remained in orbit around Earth until 2020. This mini-moon was slightly larger than the 2006 RH120, estimated to be about 1 to 2 meters in diameter. Its capture provided valuable data that helped refine models of how small objects interact with Earth's gravity. These past instances of mini-moons have contributed significantly to our understanding of near-Earth objects. They have shown that Earth's gravity can temporarily capture small asteroids, causing them to orbit for a brief period before continuing their journey around the Sun. This process is crucial for understanding the potential risks associated with near-Earth objects, as it highlights the dynamic nature of these small bodies and their potential to come closer to Earth than initially predicted. Moreover, these studies offer a glimpse into the possibilities for future exploration and utilization of near-Earth objects. Many moons like 2024 P T5 provide a unique opportunity for future space missions to study these small bodies up close, offering insights into their composition, structure, and potential resources. Understanding many moons better could also help plan missions aimed at mining asteroids for valuable materials, or even developing new technologies for asteroid deflection and planetary defense. Thank you for watching. As we continue to explore and study these fleeting visitors, we unlock new mysteries about our cosmic neighborhood and develop better tools to protect our planet from potential threats. The story of 2024 PT5 is a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe.